Now, while Pastor James Nganga was arguing his case for that bond, bodyguards at his current home viciously attacked KTN journalists who had gone there to follow up on a robbery that occurred last night. KTN's Michelle Ngele and KTN cameraman Tommy Nongesa were attacked and the KTN video camera confiscated by bodyguards. Michelle Ngele now joins us to tell us more about this. Michelle, first of all, very sorry that you had to go through this, but maybe if you could just take us through what happened. Well, uh, thank you very much, Jan. Well, after we had reports that Pastor Nana's house was uh, attacked and um, was broken into last night, uh, we made our way into the resident, uh, to the residence in Karen. And um, as soon as we got there, the, the bodyguards were very hostile to us, and they viciously came out. And instead of telling us they did not, that they did not want to speak to the media, they immediately came out, about six of them, armed with pangas and rungus, and they started chasing after us. And um, as we were running, one of them happened to trip our cameraman, Tom Nyongesa, and he fell. And after that, they viciously attacked him, um, hitting him, kicking him on the head, hitting him with rungus. And uh, after that, they, they confiscated it. And one of them was actually uh, about to hit him with, with, uh, with a panga, I mean, to, to cut him with a panga. And so um, our driver just sort of uh, tried to scare them by trying to hit them with the car, and they retreated. But before doing that, they, they took our camera and went with it into the residence and this camera had all the footage of them trying to attack us and even as they did that they told us that they did not care if we reported this matter uh, to, to the media and so well, after that well Mi again, michelle before we go on is tom young okay well and uh, he has been taken by one of our security officers to to, to for a medical checkup after which he will receive a job and he will get a p3 form but he is in quite a bit of pain and his hand is bleeding pretty bad Okay, and I understand that you're currently at the Langata police station. What's happening there? Well, Ian, we had to follow up on how to retrieve our camera. And after we were attacked, we made our way to Hadi police station in Karen, where we recorded statements of assault and um, uh, of confiscation of our camera. We did go back to the residence with the police from Hadi police station, uh, but they barely helped us, Ian, because as soon as they got there, we found that five of the six people who had attacked us had escaped, and uh, many, some of them by foot. And so some of the police said that they would follow up and try to catch these people with the tip, while the one person who was there who had been found there uh, was questioned by the police. Um, and he, he completely denied allegations of assaulting us, Ian, which is, um, he said that they only chased after us after our cameraman tried to jump through the, uh, through the fence, allegations which are completely false. But even after questioning, instead of being taken into custody, the police let this man get back into the residence. And they told us that they would follow up on these five men who uh, ran away, ran away. But the police uh, decided to go back to the police station and not follow up. And so from there, we decided to come to the Langata police station uh, to speak to the OTPD and Mr. Mwangi Kuria. And uh, here he did give us a statement of what happened last night. He told us that uh, four men are raided in the Pastor Nganga's house at about 3 a.m. in the night. One of them was armed, and they made away with the jewelry and electronics of about, of about 500,000 shillings. Now, as of now, Ian, there is a lot of solidarity from the media. We have several other media houses following us around, asking for justice for this one journalist, as well as helping us retrieve our camera. And uh, the OCPD, who was all the way at um, the president's event, came back to the police station, and he has uh, rounded up a few policemen, and as we speak, we are headed back to Pastor Nganga's residence where we will be able to retrieve the camera. Thank you for that update, Michelle, and we do hope that you'll be able to retrieve the camera that was taken by these unknown people and that you'll get enough support from the police. Of course, we shall keep you updated on this particular story. Uh, Michelle Ngele telling us there that our camera passed on Tom Nengesa, who was attacked, is indeed uh, recovering from this particular incident.